Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Just like I believe that the unwashed masses of black people can be saved, can be turned around back to the former glory of what black people used to be, and of course this is never reported on, this, this is never emphasized. In fact, the period from the end of slavery to the 1960s is completely glossed over. And the fact that black people had a higher marriage percentage rate, more black children were born to a two-parent household, is completely ignored. And what now, after 60 years under Democrat rule in the Great Society, blacks have fallen to worse than even slavery attitudes towards each other. Slaves were, in fact, quote-unquote, married. Slaves in the United States would walk to the ends of the earth to find their mate if they were separated. There are many accounts of uh, free men, freed men, walking through states to find their wives. That's right, so after being freed, they walked on foot, still through with the danger of being murdered by white people, even after they were freed, to find their wives and children. That entire history has been wiped away, and now we're under democratic rule for the blacks, who can't even see what's going on. But even still, I still believe that they can be turned around. And here's something that really isn't reported. Most of your rich rappers, your rich entertainers, your rich athletes are Republican, conservative, goes unreported, does not even believe in Obama nor anything that he ever stood for. They knew he was a communist from the beginning. Even still, I believe that the black community can be turned around. And, and here is the point of this video. Surprise, it's not a video about black people at all. I believe that the Republican Party can be rescued. I'm a libertarian, but I'm a sophist and a Capricorn and a realist. Now, people come on my channel and say, they look at my Obama impeachment videos, which gained a lot of popularity when they were first aired. What happened? What happened? And they, and they say it in a tone of like blaming me. What happened was the establishment, AKA the neocons, AKA the rhinos, AKA the Democrats who switched over to the Republican party. Hello? You know that there are 10 times more Democrats than there are Republicans? Hello? And supposedly it's a two-party system? How can you have a two-party system when you so dwarf the other party that there's no contest whatsoever? And let's get into that. What happened? Why wasn't Obama impeached? The establishment Republicans went into full throttle, demonizing actual Republicans conservative Republicans and making them appear as radicals. You have your Ron Pauls who joined the Republican Party just so that he could get elected into high office in federal government. You have Rand Paul also, but at heart they're both libertarians. And un until such time as the Republican Party uh, Repu the Republican conservatives recapture their party, they're going to be establishment. But I believe it's possible that they can recapture their party. Now conservative is a four-letter word. At every turn, the establishment goes after conservatives 
for all of the atrocities that are found in the party now. Never in the history of the Republican Party would you even have anybody entertain a racist. It would never happen before. But in truth, and I recognize truth, there are racists who are in the Republican Party. It's not the party for you. You're in the wrong party. You belong to the Democratic Party. That's a Democrat standpoint. The Republican standpoint, the conservative standpoint, has always been that every man is equal. We're talking about this was established when black people were slaves. And now I know a lot of people who, you know, who are myopic, who are idiots, who go, oh, 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 oh. Blinken didn't believe in the black man being equal. Yes, he did. Yes, he certainly did. And his most admired friend was, in fact, Fred Frederick Douglass. They sent bromance letters to each other, included each other's names in their speeches. I believe that the Republican Party can be saved. This election will really determine it. Everybody talks about throw the bums out, but it never happens. I just heard a report about uh, one of the representatives, the U.S. representatives in Ohio, who has been there for 20 terms, is for Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is being touted as a real conservative, a real man of the people. He is an establishment Republican. Same with Rubio, same with Jeb Bush. Everybody except the outsiders are all establishment Republicans. You don't have a choice. And then your other options are Trump, who's an actual Democrat. He's not even a Republican. And Carly Fiorina, who has no idea what she's talking about. She was horrible in business. She has no accolades whatsoever other than the common stuff that business people give each other as mementos that mean nothing. She has been disastrous in business and they have called her out in the business periodicals and saying that she was horrible and that she was terrible and that she shouldn't be in business whatsoever. So that leaves Dr. Ben Carson. He is an actual conservative. And I've told black people that black people are conservative. They are not liberal. Black people are not for gay rights. Black people are not for abortions. Black people are not against God, which was a party plank in the Democratic National Convention to remove God out of everything that they talk about, that they do, and that they actually came against Christians. Which is amazing to me because a lot of them pretend that they're Christians. And when I say pretend, I really mean pretend. You can't be Christian, conservative black people, and be for gay rights, equal marriage. Now, I'm not saying I'm not getting any judgment as to that. I'm saying the facts. You can't call yourself a Christian and be for gay marriage gay people feminism you can't be for feminism either either and i'm talking about the real stuff i'm not talking about the pie in the sky oh we're just talking about equal right no i'm talking about the actual nitty-gritty what they have lobbied and gotten put into law i'm not talking about the pie in the sky propaganda that they're just out for the equality of women it's not true what have they lobbied for what did they get put into law? Obamacare is such a disaster because the feminists lobbied to put all of that woman stuff into Obamacare. That men should pay for it. That nuns should pay for it. That old women beyond their prime, way beyond, way past their prime, have to pay for it. Feminists lobbied for all of that crap to be put in there. 
And then they put out the propaganda, oh, this is good for the country, this is not good for the country, that's something personal that only a very small section, and what's really ironic is, most of the feminist lobbyists are actually lesbian. So you know they're working against themselves. You can't be a lesbian, feminist lobbyist, and before all of this marriage stuff, contraception, it doesn't make sense. Two women cannot have a baby. Ergo vis-a-vis, -vis, you, you don't need prenatal care insurance, contraception, birth control. And don't tell me, uh, is hormone, I don't know. I'm not talking about that. That's a very small, tiny, minuscule, infinitesimally small segment of the women in the United States. Oh, I know you hear about it a lot, but it's not true. That's propaganda being put out by, again, the pharmaceutical companies. So that you hear it, hear it, hear it all the time. You hear it all the time. You hear it all the time. You hear it all the time. And then we have idiots who come into the video and say, oh, my daughter uh, has to take, has to take the bill. That's your daughter. There's 10,000 other mothers whose daughters don't have to take the pill. Why do we have to pay for your damn daughter? It makes no sense. Get a job. Yes, that's the answer. And this is why I say Ben Carson is a conservative. Ben Carson said, we shouldn't have insurance for toothpaste. Go get a job and buy your own toothpaste. The whole point is that insurance is for a catastrophic event. Something unforeseen. The pill is not unforeseen. Women having a period is not un unforeseen. And, clue phone, shocker, not all women engage in sex as a normal activity in their life. I know Hollywood makes it appear as if it's commonplace, but it is not commonplace. I believe in my heart that the Republican Party can be taken back. First, you have to identify who is a rhino, who is establishment. You can't say, that guy's good looking. I'm going to vote for him. You should cancel out anybody who says amnesty. That is not a Republican plank. You should can cancel anybody out who says uh, going to war is great. Republicans were always for the Constitution, and the Constitution said our military is for defending the United States, period. Not going over overthrowing a, a legitimately elected government, setting up a puppet, and then double dealing and going to war and killing your own puppet. Yes, Saddam Hussein, Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Egypt, all the countries in Africa. That's not Republican. You can preach about, oh, I support the troops. No, you don't support the troops. You're sending the troops off to fight people who aren't even against us, who have absolutely no nothing against us. And then you're adhering to a democratic talking point about, oh, think of the children. Think of what children? You just bombed 30,000 children. That's not Republican. That's not Christian. You have to remove these people out of office who are claiming that they are Republican. And you have to tell all the racists to get the hell out of your party because that is not conservative whatsoever. Conservative never meant racist. Democrats meant racist. Democrats were racist from the very beginning. The white man sits on top and everybody else serves the white man. And if you didn't serve the white man, you were called lazy and good for nothing. Does that ring a bell? And then they switched and said, don't work. We will take care of you. 
Why? Because the Jewish bankers came in and says, we have an even better idea. You get these unwashed masses, all of them, white, blue, purple, pink, polka dotted, yellow, all of them, get them all on the dole. You borrow from us so that you aren't to blame for anything and you can hide your hand even while you're showing your hand. And this way, you can keep political power and even kick it up a notch. As uh, that chef says, I uh, forget his name. You can kick it up a notch. The Great Society was intended to destroy the black community. That's what, that's its intent. Welfare, WIC, all of that crap. Housing, all of that crap was intended to destroy the black community. As much as the KKK, who are Democrats, who always will be Democrats, try to destroy the black community, it did nothing but draw the black community closer together. It became even more and more and more traditional. Marrying husband and wife households all over the place. Unheard of to be divorced. Unheard of to have a child out of wedlock. You didn't need to have a child out of wedlock because you didn't wait to 30 to be married. You waited, you were married at 14, 16. Now people are saying you can't get married until you're 25. That's kind of ridiculous. Now women are told to hate having children. Not just hate their children, but hate having children. This is all women. That's not the Republican way. You have to get rid of these Democrats who call themselves Republicans. And Rhino doesn't even begin to adequately define it. The Jewish cabal, the Jewish elite, the Jewish bankers came in and gave the parties, the federal government, an ultimatum and a strategy. Once they disclosed the strategy and in 1980 decoupled Wall Street from its regulations, the entire system exploded. The system was there, but it couldn't explode until certain laws got removed completely and they went into overdrive. Now, Republicans, conservatives are in a actual majority in the population conversely in the actual party there's very few the democrats will not allow it and after mccarthy the quote unquote democratic party even completely switched nobody knows this nobody realizes this everybody wants to talk about black and white no the communist party infiltrated, got themselves up to put into positions of power and took over the Democratic Party. It is no longer the Democrats. It is now the Communist Party. You have women talking about they want equal rights. What does equal rights even mean? Because as soon as you start declaring women to be equal to men, then you get cries of mistreatment, unfairness, lack of competitive environment and what am i talking about i'm not talking about being called the b word or anything i'm talking about actual equality where you as a woman are responsible for what you are supposed to do that was defined by a man for a man there is no equality between men and women there never was. And the whole reason humanity actually survived was that it recognized that women were the weaker sex. And humanity decided to take care of women. Unlike, and maybe you're not taught this in your schools, unlike all of the other humanoids that existed who actually treated their women as equal. Which meant that women died as much as their men or their males or females died as much as their males because they treated them completely equal, which means the pregnant female had to go and work and do 
farming or hunting or whatever alongside the males. And the pregnant female then died because she could not handle what a male could handle. So boom, you lost population potential over and over and over. Only an idiot would sit there and tell you women are equal. Women are not equal. And in our society today, because they are the weaker sex, we then acculturize women to be even more docile and even weaker. That's fine if they accept that role and are then accepting that a man will take care of all of their needs. But you have this dichotomy, this bifurcation in philosophy that women are somehow equal, but they're fighting against everything that they were taught from a little girl. Little girls don't get dirty. Little girls don't play with boys. Little girls don't bench press. Little girls don't swear. Little girls don't wear pants. Little girls are supposed to be sweet, cute, nice, all that stuff. You can't handle sitting in a boardroom and making the decision to destroy three million people in a, in a town, in a city. But that's the democratic way. They don't care that women are unhappy in their jobs, unhappy in their roles as single mothers. But nobody wants to address that in the Democratic Party. They just want to keep promoting that stuff. And that is infiltrating the Republican Party. It has infiltrated the Republican Party by the establishment. The Jewish elites have told them this is how this is going to work and this is how you're going to stay in power. And apparently staying in power is the be all end all. And un until such time as the population comes up and says you can only have two terms as a representative and one term as a senator and one term as president. Yes, even as president, because even two terms is too long for a president because he spends his, his entire first term trying to get reelected, which means that he will bow to all sorts of people who promise him to get reelected. You have to identify who all the are the moles in your party and you just can't accept the rhetoric. Your party was actually a fantastic party at one point. It actually brought proster prosperity to the black community. Let's be honest here. And because the Great Society appealed to the unwashed masses in the black community, you have the black community flipped over on its back and we have the unwashed masses controlling the path of black people towards the future. These are the uneducated, unwashed, unthinking, ungoal oriented, myopic, can't see tomorrow, even less five years down the road, controlling the black community as such as it is. That, that is non-existent really. And then you have charlatans like Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Louis Farrakhan, Tavis Smiley, uh, the guy who plays Medea. I mean, just, just total anti-black people. Anti, anti-black. And people say, how can you say those people are anti-black? They're anti-black because what they are teaching, what they are preaching, has never in 60 years made a positive stride for what wealth and income and real equality i can tell you sit here all day long and tell you how how terrible you have it you have it terrible you overcame slavery god damn it you have it terrible but you have it to overcome the most atrocious thing that any white man can throw at you you let these Sambos, and I don't like saying this, the bedwenches control the dialogue in your community. And who's that dialogue controlled by? The Democratic Party. If you get these racists out of the Republican Party and they need to go, it's not a Republican thing to be racist. It just isn't. A tremendous party plank has always been the equality of men. Every single man, regardless of color. Now, 
Equality also means that you have to work for your stuff. Now, don't give me that slavery was all years ago, blah, 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 blah. Here's the reality of the situation. And I'm not talking to the peasant white people, because if you're listening to me, more than likely you're a peasant white person. I don't care how rich you think you are. I don't care how many degrees you think you have. You're a peasant. If more than likely, if you're listening to me, you're a peasant. The money made from slavery still exists today. The interest on the money made from slavery still exists today. Here's a thing. The money made from the Crusades, all of the items, all of the gold, all of the silver, all of the pearls, all of the riches captured from the Crusades still exists in Europe. It made Europe one of the wealthiest areas in the world. Europe sacking the, just the Crusades. Now, if that is the case, Europe then going over to Africa in retaliation of Africa invading Europe, something that they don't teach in school, how much more, and it's still going on today, how much more wealthy is Europe because it was aggressive towards Africa and sacked Africa, basically. And the United States, of course, then sacked all of the black people who were forced to come over here. And that, those, that wealth that came about, and it wasn't just the South. Everybody keeps saying the South, the South, the South. The entire nation was against black people. And it was the Republican Party that said, no, every man under God is equal. He must be given an equal opportunity. A party plank. The Republicans were called the Negro Party by the Democrats. People want to talk about freedom, but then they turn around and talk about, oh, oh, these black people, those black people, these blah, blah, blah. You need to get out of the Republican Party. It's not the party for you. And people need to kick those people out and say, you don't belong in this party. This party is actually for real freedom, not for pretend freedom, not for freedom in your house alone, but your neighbor can go suck eggs. Real freedom. And Christians need to get off of their butt. If you're a Christian, you cannot be a Democrat. You can't say that you're for Jesus, who then says, turn the other cheek, love your enemy, love your fellow man. You cannot be talking about abortion, gay rights. I'm not talking about going out and slaughtering Philistines. I'm not talking about slaughtering anybody. I'm talking about you cannot support it. If it's considered a sin, it's considered a sin. And what does it say? God cannot abide sin, period. You can't live in sin either. You can't say I'm for freedom, but screw those black people. You're just as sinful. You can't be a Christian and be that way. And why am I talking about Christian? Because 75% of the country is Christian. How can you have so many Democrats? It makes no sense. It boggles the mind. They should be a minority of a minority of a minority. They should be less than the population of black people in the United States. Everybody who calls himself a Christian should not be in the Democratic Party. It makes no sense. You can't say, oh, Jesus talked about love your neighbor, so I need to go and embrace gay people. I need to go embrace a harlots. I need to go embrace liars. I need to go embrace people who slaughter Christians. No. As much as Hollywood wants to paint him as a hippie, he was a realist. He was a pragmatist. He said, you can't live a sinful life. You just can't. And as much as they want to misquote the Bible and says, the Bible says, don't judge. It says, you will be sitting as judges. So it can't be true that it says, don't judge. It says, judge by your own measure. That means we are all equal. That's what that means. That's exactly what that means. So 75% of the country can't be for all of this sin and corruption and inequality, real inequality, not this whole, I'm a woman, so you're putting me down because I'm a woman. No, you can't do the job. Just quit the damn job. Uh, I want, And now they want women 
to sign up for the draft and sign up for combat roles. Women cannot do combat. As much as you want to pretend that your vagina, and I do mean vagina, won't get in the way, it will get in the way. You have a vagina. You have a period. Men don't have any of that, ever. Not one single day. And I'm talking about hygiene. I'm talking, I'm talking about combat situations. You can't be sitting in a foxhole for six months and only have to worry about water and food. You're not equal. Stop it. That's not a Republican stance. Women are not equal. And I, I know the Democrats are telling you, that's a horrible thing to say. It's, it's the truth. Shut the hell up. Humanity survived by saying, oh my God, women are not equal. Let's take care of them. Oh my God, women have children. Let's take care of them. Let's put them away. Let's hide them away so that other creatures can't get to them. So they can sit and have children and increase our population and create more men to defend the women. Common sense. Part of the Republican platform. And I'm saying black people and Christians you're conservative and you need to remove this thorn that's out of your sight. I believe, I believe it. I believe it can be accomplished. Thank you for watching the Shigama Live Show.